Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we are continuing in this laundry room and we are gonna tackle the crafty bookshelf. Yes, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and I show you my messes and I explain my mentality of why I hold on to things. But each episode, I'm getting a lot better at decluttering because I do small sections at a time. Small sections at a time help keep my um, anxiety at bay so that I can make better decisions and I don't feel overwhelmed and it doesn't feel like a great loss. So yes, back to this. We're in the laundry room and we're going to tackle this, the crafty shelf. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking maybe Maybe we'll just start from the bottom, right? And then work our way up. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my first craft bin. So all the crafts that are over here are just going into a bin. I'm not sub categorizing them yet. I'm just getting them all in one spot, except for the ribbon because I have such a massive amount of ribbon that I figured I'll go ahead and put that in this box, which is already being quickly outgrown. So I think it's best if we do start at the bottom right here. So I'm gonna start pulling stuff out and sorting it. All right, so let's just start pulling stuff out. Right off the top is shipping labels, which yes, I have hoarded shipping labels away so that I can use them to sell on Macari, but I had created a box for them. So, wow, they're getting old, but yes, so that I can have all the shipping stuff together. And, oh, I did that. I did this a couple years ago for my youngest when he turned four and he loved Pokemon. You put the little like horn through here and they blew through it so Pikachu made a noise. Oh, at the heartstrings. This is um, a potty protector. Uh, this is old. Um, it's when we go to public bathrooms when they were little, but I mean, I have boys and I mean, uh, might be time to get rid of it. I mean, right, I really don't need it. Um, okay, so this was something that I got from Wish and it's these little bunchums, but they have so many bunchums already. Maybe I should try and just put them in a Ziploc bag and sell them and get rid of them. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is, uh, Oh, wow, look at how, I, I don't even know where I got this. This is pretty, there are a bunch of shells. Um, Honestly, I don't know what to do. Is that a craft, is that a, I don't know. It's really cool, but I might give it to my son because he loves stuff like this. And what do we have? We can tossy tossy that, that's a recyclable. And I see something back here and I'm trying to cover it. Sorry, I had a cut out right then. It's just, it had my son's first and last name. Okay, so moving on. Ooh, power balls. They, this is a few years old. And now that we're coming on summer vacation, I wonder, we should try and make them again. Um, this is a tossy tossy, but I can guarantee you I kept it because I saw the craft potential in it. I wanted to make something from it. I still kind of do want to make something from it, but it's time to move on. Um, oh boy, here comes some stuff. Oh, look at this. Brand new puffy paint. Well, let's put that right in the craft bin. And, Oh boy, stuff falling. An organizer, a, a school organizer. Uh, okay, we'll put that with school stuff. This is felt craft, uh, uh, craft bin, sorry. <laughs> I was ready to say tossy tossy. Ew, all right, little frisbee thing. So here, we got this free at some kind of, you know, state community thing, whatever. What I'm gonna do, all right, and I might actually record this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna save this because on the last day of school, and I might even record it, on the last day of school, I make a big stink from the kids when they get out of the bus. I decorate the driveway, everything. I spray them with silly string as soon as they get off the bus. This year, I'm giving them a can of silly string so they can get me off the, out, out of the bus too and spray each other. But I make a big like summer basket of fun things to go outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use stuff I already have. Look what we have, a whole thing of Play-Doh. Uh, it's probably old, hopefully it's still good. Uh, but my son, well, you know how much Play-Doh we have and other ones, we have a ton of Play-Doh and it's still good, look at that. So I think it's best to actually take all the Play-Doh out of this box and put it in his Play-Doh bin. Let's see, I think we're gonna fast forward the rest of this stuff because there is so much stuff, my goodness. Okay, so look what I found. Brand new Lego. The box was ripped open, but 
He never put it together yet. And my boy still likes Legos and putting them together. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is great for summer. So I think what I'm gonna do is, because I found a lot of summer crafts, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get another bin for the kids and just put all the summer fun stuff in there. And look, that one is now empty, but let me tell you, there is a lot of stuff in this shelf. And I still have to do this one, this, this, and oh my God, like, <laughs> this is gonna take a long time. This might be one of my longest videos and I really don't want it that long because I wanna hold everybody's interest and make it short and sweet and still see everything, but whoo, I got my work cut out for me. All right, moving along. Empty boxes. That's an easy decision. Ribbon. Always a ribbon. And a, 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 a bucket. Okay, uh, I, I guess we can finally get rid of the bucket, right? Kind of hurts, though. Not going to lie, it kind of hurts. And we can get rid of that. That's okay. And, oh, things are falling. Things are falling. What's in here? Um, huh. Beautiful box. Oh, some jewelry making stuff. So, all right. That goes kind of into a crafty, crafty section. And, oh, this is perfect for when they get off the bus. So, that could be something that I don't have to spend money on. Because now you kind of know why stuff that, oh, I have so much kid stuff because I buy so much of it. Um, I'll never get rid of this, guys. This is an old tambourine that was either my mom's you know, or my dad's from like the 70s. So my son likes it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna get rid of that one. That's too sentimental. And craft, crafty section, crafty section. Uh, more of these containers with, oh, markers. Okay, color wonder markers. Ooh, we don't use color wonder. We haven't used that in a long time. Ziploc bag, what is this? Oh, a kite. Okay, let's go fly a kite. And, ooh, glow sticks. I gotta get the glow sticks together because they do love glow sticks. And a necklace, a very old necklace. All right, well, I'll put that back in the jewelry. And kids' paperwork. The schoolwork is really hard for me to get rid of, guys. I'm not gonna lie. And, ooh, looky, looky. This looks fun for this summer. See, I, whoa! I don't know if you saw that, if I got that on camera, but the poster board fell. Yes, it's dead. Let's see. And, okay, crafty, crafty section. And, oh, so I, oh, no, is it okay? I made this clipboard. Yes, it was a wooden clipboard. And I marge podge, and I did that. Isn't it cute? That's a keepy. Yay. And, woo, did you hear that? Right, so I figured I would record what's in this bin. Oh my goodness, more ribbon. <laughs> Seriously, I am Hobby Lobby with ribbon right now. Like, I can't believe that I have all of this ribbon. And then I ran to share another hoarder thing. This is like a hoarder, maybe frugal kind of hack, if you will. This is something I've done for a while, but yeah, check it out. So that is all the like the silicone like gel things that go in there so i saved up that go in the pill things so i saved them why did i save them you ask because my basement gets very damp so i like to keep them and i didn't even put them in there for some reason i just kind of saved them i would put them into the tubs so it would take any of the moisture out of the tub so that way the stuff inside didn't get destroyed in the basement so let's go ahead and continue on to that shell. All right, guys, so craft bin number two is full. So I need to get another craft bin and I'm gonna use my hoarded stash <laughs> of those little silicone packets and put it in there so moisture does not get in my bin. All right, got the next uh, empty tote ready to go. Good thing I kept a lot of them <laughs> from all the Kamari Method and, uh, episodes I did emptying out tubs. So let's fill it out. So we're gonna go to the next shelf. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so, oh look, here's another one of those big silicone things to take the moisture away. And what else, where do we start? The kids stuff. The kids stuff, guys, I'm not gonna be able to get rid of. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's gonna be really hard. Oh, I saw a craft. 
crafty thing. First thing in the tub. <laughs> okay, let's, oh my God. The packing stuff, seriously. I save and hoard away all this paper for the packing and tissue paper to reuse. And have I reused it? Absolutely, I've reused it. Do I reuse all of it thus far? No. Oh, look how cool that is. A little burger thing. But there's not two, so that kind of sticks. But guess what? Crafty kid bin. <laughs> and let's see, a bag, a color pencils. That is definitely the craft bin. And oh, Snazaroo party makeup. Now, here's the thing. This is a few years old. Like, uh, I feel like I probably should toss this out. Because it probably has like a date on... Well, we'll look, uh, oh, 18 months. This thing's probably like five years old. Okay, tossy tossy. I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh, I'm gonna cover this because you can see my child's face. Ah, can you see it? I'm trying to cover it with one hand. Okay, oh, these are things I could never get rid of. No, 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 not the kids stuff. This is mostly kids paper, isn't it? What's back here? Um, Cool crayons, brand new twistable crayons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are my yearbooks, so I'm going to try and hide it. Hold on. I'll go like that. <laughs> Those are my yearbooks. I didn't want them to be shown. And crayons from the Crayola. Fa oh, I'm putting it right here. Oh, my gosh. Can I actually put it down? Wow, brand new. Look at that. Brand new from the Crayola factory. How many years ago do you say? Probably five. I kid you not. That's how long and it's been, and it's just been sitting in here. So Look what I found in that pile of brand new Easter stuff and all oh, a little treat bag. I made that for my oldest son for his fifth birthday this was six years ago and i love these treat bags and i thought they came out really good and the most awesomest thing let me just make room was this belt that's a she-ra belt what yes i thought that was so cool i was like oh my god my she-ra belt <laughs> now you know i'm not getting rid of that all right so let's record this so Again, I had saved this for shipping, but as I'm seeing that pile get so much bigger, I feel good tossy tossing it. Uh, oh, this is my armband. I, I want to keep this. I do. Yes, I do. This, of course, goes into the party basket. And oh, something my son made. See, I have a hard time getting rid of the stuff that my children made. And crafty, crafty. And double sided tape. Crafty, crafty. And of course, you could already see. Okay, felt. We know that that goes into the craft thing. Look at this. Look at this right here. Brand new Sharpie markers. A whole pack of them. I mean, who knows how long that's been sitting there for. And, of course, we have bows. I'm going to keep that, of course. So why is there an egg carton, you say? Okay. Well, I'll tell you why there's an egg carton in here. It's because... <laughs> I use this as grass start, or the, not grass starters, the, the seedling starter. So if I want to grow flowers from seeds, I'll put the dirt in each little cup and fill it up. And it's a seed starter, so you don't have to spend $10. No, no, no. But I can use stuff I already have. What do we... Ooh! Yay! Glitter paper! Yes, that definitely glows in our crafty bin. Yay for that! And, okay, oh, I don't I don't know what fell, something fell. Oh, more labels, an old, yes, an old book. And, oh, okay, brand new, hey, cheers. Yes, after all this work, I will find a bottle of wine. <laughs> this is a lot of work. <laughs> and, oh, paper, and, oh God, more bags, more things for um, Christmas, Ch Operation Christmas Child, which I'll have to make a bin for that. Oh, uh, hey, St. Patty's Day decoration and brand new sloppy hands. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a big one. Ooh, we got a ton of glow sticks. This is going to be a fun summer. And all right. So, oh my God, guys, the stuff's just falling as I pull it off. Like seriously, 
Ooh, crafty, pretty little booze. And oh, so there's pictures. Oh, oh see, I can't, like I, I can't. All the little, oh, okay, that's Tossy Tossy, yay. All the things that he has made. Oh, heart strip. Oh, oh, okay, I gotta hide that because that has my last name on it. Okay, do you know what this is? So this is back in a frugal, I made this, say, so obviously it's the paint swatches. My oldest was four, three, four, I think it was three. And I took, went to Home Depot, took these swatches, hole punched it. I don't even know where I hoarded that, but I put this on. I would take him to like, um, let's say like the, let's say the greenhouse, for instance, because I know I took him there. And I would have him match the colors to the flowers. He would pull out his little thing and he would be like, oh, this flower looks like this color. And believe it or not, I have a sentimental attachment to that because it reminds me of that. And I, I know that sounds crazy, but hey, that's a fun frugal thing. Hey, I should have made a frugal uh, with the, Oh my God, things fell, guys. I don't even know if fell. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, moving on. <laughs> crayons. Yes, we have crayons. Carrots with bubbles. Yes. Oh my God. Like, why do I have so much crap? Um, okay. So this, obviously I got cheaper than that. Uh, okay. We can actually put that outside now and hang it up. Why not? It's summer. Uh, what's in here? Oh, cr oh, I got to throw this out. Look, the glue, flip flop glue to fix it. Look, it leaked out. So, okay. Well, that's easy. That's tossy tossy and chalk. We can use that now. And more party streamers. I don't have to ever buy streamers again. Oh, look at these glitter sticks that are no good. Okay, so that's pretty much a majority of Tossy Tossy. Anything else good? Is this ribbon? Yeah, it is. Scrapbooking ribbon. And I don't know if there's anything else really good in here. Oh, sorry, I keep cutting. It's just, to be honest, blurring is a pain in the butt because I have to do it in a separate app. Oh my gosh. But yes, this stuff is definitely from... 2012 from when my oldest was in preschool so you know a lot of that stuff i'm gonna have to get a bin i'm gonna have to what is this a sticker book thing oh well i can give that to um little loki because he loves lightning and mcqueen so we're giving that away what's in the party bag stuff that's been sitting oh my gosh okay so transformer straws uh thomas the train stickers so you can see you can tell how old this is you can tell us you talk to the bag and oh batman erasers see you can tell that stuff is so old and a bag you want to know why i kept this bag i can tell you right now why i kept this bag because it has pink hearts on it yep 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 yep. that's why i kept the bag we can tossy tossy it now oh my gosh you guys like seriously i'm over it let me pull this over look okay so there was a mason jar of like um uh paint brushes so easy peasy lemon squeezy oh my gosh okay guys so the top shelf is left so we're gonna go up up on here and you can see there's a lot of like tissue paper a lot of stuff for like packing so that's like fairly easy i'm gonna try and do this with one hand <laughs> so yeah a lot of packing stuff paper um you know for gifts like you know tissue paper to reuse for packing and oh what is that i guess maybe when there was a shower i don't know i don't know what that is seeping through i hope we don't have a leak let me see yeah a lot of bags and stuff and whoa the flowers are falling so we'll take that down let me show it to you really quick flowers yes 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 that could go crisp more okay so most of this is like mailers right for oh and, and a mess but oh, it's dirty so i can like toss that one um, that's a tossy, tossy, totally. Okay, Swiss cocoa mix, empty tin. It's an empty tin. Guarantee you, I was gonna try and like put contact paper or something on this. Maybe I still will. Uh, I have to make sure it's clean though. But maybe I was gonna put contact paper and make it like a storage bin myself, like the DIYs. This one though, I'm not gonna put in the bin because that's when I wanna do that DIY project on this. I would really wanna use that color for, I'm thinking, I don't know, but I'm thinking one is coming up very soon. Oh, something fell, everything falls from here. More tissue paper up. Oh, jeez. okay, hold on. Let me just put this outside now. Okay, we'll put that outside now. <laughs> hey, glow sticks. All right, guess what? I don't have to buy any glow sticks this summer. Look, there's some more. 
I don't have to buy any kind of glow stick. I'm kind of glad that they'll be organized because I'm always buying glow sticks thinking I don't have any. Well, that's because they were hidden underneath all of this. All right, what is this? Just more like paper, <laughs> toilet paper rolls. We can tossy tossy that. Guarantee you I had some kind of idea. You know how they, you've seen them make like ornaments and stuff out of the paper or the toilet paper rolls. Yeah, more, more glowy, glowy. We're always glowing. Yep, more, yay. So here's where all the glow sticks were. And uh, what's in here? I don't even know what's in here. Oh, I'm gonna try and show you a little bit. Okay, so like thread and stuff like that. That's basically what it is, so. Gripping and let me grab it. A little harder doing it with one hand, definitely. See, okay, I was trying to make, I was making friendship bracelets, yeah. <laughs> Scrap paper. We could tossy toss, yeah. I mean, the old me totally would have kept that. I still kind of do because it's sparkly, but no, no. Sorry for cutting out my address. Again, came up on something else, but I saw glitter. Yay for glitter. And then this, let me, let me see. What is in here? Some more mailers, some crafty thing I could throw away. Uh, oh, chalk paint. Yes, we have chalk paint. This whole bin is pretty much like crafty. So I think I'm just going to put the entire bin just in the craft thing. So we'll, let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah guys. So, so everything is just paper, but let me pull this right here. Okay. So a Huggies box. You're probably like, why the heck did she keep that? She doesn't have like little ones because I repurpose. I am actually going to keep this box. I repurpose these boxes with contact paper and ribbon and flowers and they look really, really beautiful. And I'm thinking I wanna have like on top of that, like maybe like a shelf and I can store boxes on top. I think that might look really good for storage. So believe it or not, this box I'm gonna keep and I might actually do a whole DIY on it. And, oh, okay. This is all craft things too when I used to make headbands. And here's some more crafty, crafty stuff. All the little like hair clips that I used to make years ago. And we're down to the nitty gritty here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this top shelf up because it's all paper. So there's nothing really exciting about this. are probably wondering where did it all go well this is our tossy tossy slash recyclable pile yes this is a big size pile it might be hard to tell in the video but this is in my kitchen floor so this is this is a nice size this right here is like goodwill slash maybe we'll put it on facebook marketplace or yard sale see where it goes this is like party stuff so here's like the bows and the ribbons and streamers and then up here is more like the gift bags and tissue paper. And I just need to get like a big box to organize it because honestly, with all of that, I do not need to buy a gift bag or tissue paper for a very, very long time. This over here is being given away. These boxes over here are for um, shipping. So if I want to ship to Macari, you know, and all that, I'll have the supplies. I even found packing tape, which I didn't know I had, and I'm so happy because we had ran out. This box over here is my oldest son's like pre-K, kindergarten, first grade stuff in there. So I have to go through that and figure out how to organize it because that's something that's very sentimental to me that I do not want to get rid of. And then over there, that's a bunch of plastic bags that we can go ahead and recycle. So let me go show you the other bins that are in the laundry room. Okay, so this is the third craft bin that is stuffed to the gills. Here's the ribbon uh, box that is now definitely full. And then here's kind of like the kids fun summer box that I have going on with the glow sticks and like kites and fun things like that. But I have to show you. Look, look, look. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe it, yes. So I did put some crafty bins back in here just because 
And look, I even have empty ones. So that'd be perfect when I start sorting because in my mind, I'm gonna have my husband build something a little bigger, maybe make it a white shelf kind of thing, a little deeper. And these items will already be in it. So I figured it was best to just go ahead and put them there for now. So that is looking good. And I have to admit, that was a lot of work. There was so much stuff that while I'm cleaning out, I'm like, why do I do this? Why do I have so much stuff? Like, this is so much, but it's okay because we're healing, we're improving. And look, 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 doesn't that look great? So guys, I am going to wrap up this video. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time, bye.